you start by creating the header and alias files. It's the first of the four steps in creating context-sensitive help in Madcap Flare. While the header file is the one essential to the process, the alias file just helps us visually edit the header file. In the header file, you can create identifiers and values specific to the help pages, which can be used to open those pages. Create identifiers and then assign them the pertinent pages. You can also auto-generate identifiers and values for all the pages in the help. To auto-generate identifiers, you can use the settings to have specific prefix in the identifiers or a specific series in the values. Once you're happy with the identifiers and values, export the header file. You can choose one or more of the four formats of the header file. The one header file suitable for you depends on the application you integrating it with. To understand this better, talk to the developer or architect. Typically, you will require only one of these header file formats. Madcap Flare allows you to test the context sensitivity before you hand over the files to the developer or architect. In the test HTML page, you can select an identifier and launch help to test the identifier. Select a topic ID and see the effect it has on the URL. If required, make changes to the identifiers and topic IDs and regenerate the header file. Once you are satisfied with the testing, share the header file with the developer or architect who will integrate it with the software. 